The iconic monarch butterfly is one step closer to being placed on the endangered species list. Scientists say the butterfly's overall population in North America has declined by more than 80 percent over the past two decades. They warranted protection under the Endangered Species Act in 2020, but the U.S. government failed to provide it. Courts sided with environmental groups last month, prompting the Biden administration to decide on listing dozens of species, including monarch butterflies, on the endangered species list within the next few months. And now a new book is helping to bring attention to saving the butterflies. Monarca, a novel, weaves together Mexican folklore and environmentalism to inspire readers to protect the world around them. Joining us now is the co-author and filmmaker, Eva Arites. Her father is credited with creating monarch butterfly sanctuaries and having them designated by the United Nations as educational, scientific, and cultural organization World Heritage Sites. Welcome, Eva. It's so great to have you with us. So tell us, first of all, a little bit more about your book and how it sheds light on the plight of the monarch butterfly. Uh, so, Monarca is a fable and an illustrated uh, novel about a Mexican-American girl named Inez who transforms into monarch butterfly and undertakes the migration to Mexico uh, with the other monarchs. And um, it's an adventure and coming-of-age story, but it uh, illustrated by my co-author Leopoldo Gut. Um, but it's also really about the, the dangers that monarch butterflies face in the real world in Canada, the U.S., and Mexico. Um, this is a very personal story. I mean, your family history interweaves with this. How so? Uh, well, my father, who's from the state of Michoacán, which is where the monarchs, the eastern monarch population spends the winter, um, he grew up watching the butterflies and taking us to see them when we were growing up. And... Um, he convinced the president in 1986, the Mexican president, to, to declare the reserves where the monarchs spend the winter protected sanctuaries and also for the UNESCO where he was ambassador to declare, him a world to declare the sanctuary a world heritage site. Um, the monarchs, there's two populations, there's the western and the eastern and um, the eastern one is the one that, that migrates to Mexico and um, that population has plummeted like 85% from a billion to 60 million oh, in 25 years. And the Western say. population, which originates in, in Northwestern U.S. and Canada and spends the winter in, in, along the Pacific coast, mostly in California, has plummeted 99% from 1.2 million to less than 2,000 in 2020. And Ava, what are the major causes of this? And what can people do to help? Uh, well, there's three. The first is loss of habitat. So urbanization has um, destroyed uh, milkweed, which is what the monarch caterpillar needs to eat and the butterflies lay their eggs on it. Uh, an area the size of Texas has been lost in 20, the past 20 years. And then the remaining habitat, um, the milkweed is being destroyed by glyphosate-based pesticides, uh, mm. particularly Roundup yeah, by Roundup, yeah. Roundup, uh, Bayer Monsanto. Um, which just destroys everything that's not genetically engineered to resist it. Um, so 71% uh, of the milkweed that was growing in corn and soy fields in the Midwest and the United States has disappeared. Um, so, so it's um, loss of habitat, pesticide use, and climate change, um, which leads to more drought and fires, which... You know, destroys um, more habitat. Destroys, and then in Mexico, the biggest problem right now is deforestation in the sanctuaries, particularly in recent years by avocado farmers, because um, the the avocados, eighty percent of the avocados in the United States come from the state of Michoacan, and they grow at the exact same altitude, five to seven thousand feet, as the Oyamel fir forests where the monarchs spend the winter. So, should we be paying attention to where we get our avocados? Uh, yes, you should be getting, um, if you can, find them and afford them, organic, fair trade avocados, which are grown by farmers who aren't contributing to deforestation or using pesticides. And the, the other thing we can do is to plant milkweed and wildflowers in our gardens, um, school and churchyards, museums, by the side of roads, anywhere, balconies, rooftops. Um, and as long as it's local, milkweed and wildflowers that will help the, the butterflies and the caterpillars enormously 
on their migration routes, which are really all over the United States. Yeah, we planted one in our backyard you some did. years oh, ago. Wonderful. Well, not planted, but, but certainly hung, I yeah. should say. But I, I think it's really important if we ask this question, with the monarch goes what? Well, the monarch is, you know, a pollinator, along with hundreds of other insect and bird species. Um, and they pollinate our food and, and crops. And, you know, if you lose the pollinators, then, yeah. Yeah. you know, we lose our, our food sources as well. We're seeing yeah. that with the bee population as well. So the yeah. monarch needs to be on our sides. Thank you, Ava. Thank you Adithi. so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you.